Imagine brave astronomers venturing into the depths of space, eager to unlock the secrets of the very first stars and galaxies. Each discovery brings them closer to the ultimate truth, like pieces of a cosmic puzzle falling into place. And leading this quest is the James Webb Space Telescope, JWST, a remarkable invention worth billions, akin to a time-traveling marvel. After a year of peering into the unknown, the JWST has already rewritten the rules of exploration. Think of Webb as a cosmic detective, armed with the ability to see the faintest glimmers of infrared light. It's like rewinding the clock to the universe's infancy, capturing snapshots of galaxies in their earliest days. And here's the shocker. Webb has uncovered a treasure trove of these infant galaxies, surpassing all expectations. Scientists are reeling with excitement, stunned by the unexpected richness of their findings. Now, in the wake of Webb's groundbreaking revelations, the scientific community is abuzz with activity. They're grappling with big questions. Are these galaxies real, or is there a glitch in the data? And if they're legit, how do they fit into our understanding of the cosmos? Could we be on the brink of rewriting the entire story of the Big Bang? It's a mind-bending puzzle, and everyone's racing to crack the code. So hold on to your seats as we plunge into the cosmic revolution sparked by the James Webb Space Telescope. It's an adventure that promises to reshape our perception of the universe, a journey you definitely don't want to miss. Let's rewind back to when the universe was just starting out. After the Big Bang, things began to cool down. All the wild stuff flying around in space, like electrons and protons, eventually settled and mixed together to form atoms, mostly hydrogen. It was like a calm before the storm, a period we call the Cosmic Dark Ages. Then something big happened. Most of the stuff that blasted apart after the Big Bang is made of something invisible called dark matter. It's super important in shaping how the universe works. Imagine it like this. Dark matter was flung around everywhere, and in some spots, it clumped together. Regular stuff, like atoms, gathered around these dark matter clumps. As things cooled down, the first stars popped up, lighting up the darkness. These stars then kick-started a process called rayonization, where neutral hydrogen gets charged up again. Gravity did its thing, pulling stuff together to form galaxies in a giant cosmic web. And all the while, things kept moving farther apart. Back in the 1920s, an astronomer named Edwin Hubble figured out that the universe is getting bigger. Then, in the late 1990s, the Hubble Space Telescope showed that not only is the universe expanding, but it's speeding up. Think of the universe like a loaf of raisin bread. At first, it's a mix of dough and raisins. As it bakes, the dough rises and the raisins spread apart. The Hubble telescope saw that the loaf is rising even faster than expected. The raisins, our galaxies, are flying away from each other faster and faster. This speedy getaway seems to be powered by something called dark energy represented by the Greek letter lambda. If you plug in all the numbers for stuff like cold dark matter and regular matter into Einstein's equations, you can predict how the universe grows and changes. This model, called lambda cold dark matter or LCDM, matches up pretty well with everything we've seen in space. One way to check if all this makes sense is by studying galaxies really far away, like peeking back in time to when the universe was just a baby, a few hundred million years after the Big Bang. Back then, things were simpler, making it easier for us to see how everything changed over time. Scientists first tried this with the Hubble telescope back in 1995. Hubble took over 300 pictures of a seemingly empty spot in space within the Big Dipper constellation, and what a surprise. Instead of emptiness, it found thousands of galaxies at different distances, showing us snapshots of the universe's early days that we never imagined seeing. Hubble didn't stop there. In 2016, 
it spotted the most distant galaxy yet, called GNZ 11. It's a faint little smudge that formed just 400 million years after the Big Bang. This discovery raised eyebrows, but it didn't shake our confidence in the LCDM model much. See, GNZ 11 is tiny, just a fraction of the size of our Milky Way, and it's kind of a loner. Enter the James Webb Space Telescope, JWST. It's like the superhero of telescopes, huge, powerful, and ready to change the game. Parked 1.5 million kilometers away from Earth's noise and cooled down to super chilly temperatures, this telescope is equipped with fancy gadgets to see things we've never seen before. And boy, did it deliver! Just weeks after it started working full throttle, JWST blew our minds with its discoveries. It spotted galaxies that were born just after the Big Bang, studied planets outside our solar system in incredible detail, and showed us stunning new views of our own celestial neighbors. And it's just warming up, ready to dive even deeper into the mysteries of the universe's earliest days. The James Webb Space Telescope, Joey East, is stirring up quite the cosmic storm. Its early findings could rewrite the very beginning of our universe's story, the part that shapes not just distant galaxies, but also our own Milky Way. It's like peeling back layers of history, revealing surprises that challenge everything we thought we knew. As Mark McCaffron from the European Space Agency puts it, you build these machines not to confirm the paradigm, but to break it. You just don't know how they will break it. Imagine it like this. Astronomers use a cosmic version of the Doppler effect to measure how far away things are. It's like hearing an ambulance siren getting fainter as it zooms past. Galaxies do a similar thing, but with light. The farther away they are, the more their light gets stretched out, making it look redder. Scientists measure this stretching with something called redshift giving us clues about how far these galaxies are and how long their light traveled to reach us. Early on, JWST made a big splash with a galaxy dubbed Glass Z13, seeming impossibly bright and far away. But the more they looked, the more astonishing discoveries they made. They found galaxies with redshift values from 11 to 20, like Cheers 1749, whose light left just 220 million years after the Big Bang. That's like catching a glimpse of the universe when it was just a cosmic baby. Space science never fails to amaze us with its mind-boggling wonders. Watch JWS image. Just shattered our cosmology into pieces and things just got worse. Details in this next video from our channel and dive deeper into the cosmos with us by hitting that subscribe button and joining our space-loving community. Together, we'll continue to uncover the secrets of the universe, one discovery at a time. Keep watching, keep exploring, and let's journey through the cosmos together. See you in the next video.